Hey Scorpio, thank you for tuning in for this weekly message with me. Please take whatever resonates and leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message, not a personal. Um, if you are new to my channel, I am a psychic medium. So um, in personal readings, I do not use any cards or any tools um, or in live readings as shown uh, in Q&A's, psychic medium Q&A's. I'm actually going live tonight uh, between 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern Time to do question and answer. So if you want to join me then, you can definitely tap in. Um, also, make sure your notification bell is on because I will be doing games throughout the week. Um, I may do games tonight as well, so definitely tune in. Um, yeah, and all information is listed in the description if you need to know how to book a personal with me. Um, also, for extended readings, that is located in Patreon. So you can join me over in Patreon if you want to um, get the other portion of this reading. Um, I do give daily messages, weekly messages, monthly messages, meditation sessions, crystal uh, readings, chakra readings um and so much more so if you want any of that you could definitely tap in over there that link is listed in the description scorpio it's been a minute scorp let's see what's going on spirit please show us a message for scorpio scorpio please show us a message for scorpio all right we have the desire lust sexual chemistry is in reverse so i feel like with this um lust being in reverse this could be a, a situation where it's not just lust especially followed with the divine masculine so i could be speaking to a divine masculine or this is pertaining to your divine masculine okay uh, we have negotiator, bargaining, begging. Someone may want to um, ask you for some type of support or um, negotiate with you about something. We got pop-up, spontaneous, unexpected surprise visit. So someone could be surprising you um, or you could be the one that's popping up, surprising someone. Um, someone is reminiscing, a lot of memories. Someone is wanting to return. There could be a move, a change in location, um, definitely a physical move for you and someone. You could be buying a home, selling a home, or moving in together. Uh, there could be a talk conversation about this. They want you to get on the same page with someone pertaining to this if that's your situation. Okay. So many cards came out for you. I only wanted three, but you know, I'll take whatever spirit provide. Um, I want to get one of these. Fair, please show us a message for Scorpio. 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 One more for Scorpio. Thank you. Show us a message for Scorpio. Scorpio. Spirit, what is it? Scorpio. Let it come out, please, for Scorpio. Pertaining to this message, please show us a message for Scorpio. Scorpio, it want to come out, but... Oh. Scorpio. Scorpio. It's just don't want to come out. <laughs> Let's try again. Spirit, higher angels of divine love, please show us a message for Scorpio. Scorpio. Alright, communicate. That could be the issue. You and someone do need to get on the same page. Didn't I mention that? Yeah, talk, conversation, get on the same page. So communication could be the issue, which is why it was hard for the <laughs> message to come out. Okay. So communicate, compromise, work it out, forgive if there's any forgiveness that's needed. 
forgive uh, maybe something that happened um, between you and this person. Forgive. You both need to forgive or you need to forgive that person. That person is, however the situation is, it's different for everyone. But let's get more. But they want you to communicate so y'all can be on the same page due to a living arrangement, um, coming together. Show us a message for uh, Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio. Someone could be dealing with the Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Show us a message for Scorpio. Scorpio. Scorpio spirit, please show. Show us the recent past. The recent past. Two of Cups, okay. Soulmate energy. Reconciliation. Maybe you and this person recognizing each other's souls, realizing, you know, who you are to each other. That's in a recent past. Okay. Current energy spirit for Scorpio. Current energy. Judgment. God dang, Scorpio. You got some deep, deep love here. Um, I feel like your angels is giving you the okay. This is a this is a good match. This is a match for you. This is good for you. So there's a renewal due to your love life. Let's get, um, you could be dealing with another Scorpio. Let's get uh, the near future for Scorpio spirit. Near future. The near future. What's in the near future for Scorpio? The near future, five of swords. Not conflict. We don't need no conflict, Scorpio. <laughs> we don't need no conflict. Mm-mm. Uh, five of Swords with the Eight of Wands. So it could be conflict due to communication. That's why they're saying communicate. So you can be on the same page instead of assuming something. Especially for you to be divine, whether I'm speaking to you directly, divine masculine, or I'm speaking to divine feminine about your divine masculine. Um, it could be a misunderstanding. And that's why they're saying, look, communication is what's needed. So you can compromise, work things out, make things work between you and someone. Because it could be like if you're communicating through text or something, they may be misunderstood and can cause some type of conflict, argument, disagreement. Like, no, I didn't mean it that way. I was trying to say, you know, text can definitely be taken the wrong way. So... You may need to verbally communicate to this person. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with a uh, Virgo with the Hermit here. The tower. God. It's a major shift that's about to happen for you, Scorpio. You got the Tower, the Wheel of Fortune with the Hermit. So, yeah. There could be um, an unexpected change between you and this person. Someone is gaining um, wisdom due to what this connection is about or... You know, what, where this can go. Yeah, someone is wanting to take that leap of faith with you. Or vice versa. Let's see more. Hold on. I got on side down. Yep. Alright, Spirit, please show us a message. For Scorpio, let's get more on the recent past energy with the Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Clarify the Two of Cups. We have Aquarius and Sagittarius energy here as well. Show us more on the Two of Cups there in the recent past. So someone is realizing this is more of love and not lust. Maybe someone could have been confused in the past. Like, no, nah, this is just lust. It's not love because someone could have been uh, possibly afraid to love or, you know, um, afraid to give more to this connection. But once someone realized mm, this, can, this is not all about sex, this is not all about just lust. I, I actually love this person. Yeah. So now someone is needing to communicate. I feel like just straight up, honest communication, no holding back feelings, express exactly how you feel, what you want with this, um, 
and this is both on both ends so you can understand okay now i know how to move let's do this and let's do that show us more on the two of cups two of cups for the, for the recent past for scorpio show us more on the two of cups it could be a fire sign yeah it could be a sagittarius or any fire sign but um someone is committed to uh coming back to you this is this could have been determined in a recent past like maybe they're on their way or they're deciding to come back towards you show us more on judgment and current energy show us more on judgment and the current energy not the judgment again spirit is funny spirit like i said what i said you got spirit helping you out with this connection you and this person could have a child together or you will be having a child together or it's destined for you to have this child together um yeah judgment has been called upon this connection so you got to you could have a spirit baby show us more on judgment can you give us anything else on judgment oh it's protected oh yeah yo yeah the higher ups is protecting this oh yeah they said this is this is destined to be it's meant to be scorpio you could be dealing with the fire sign aries leo or sagittarius show us more on a uh, this <laughs> the near future which look crazy show us more on the near future that's just miscommunication y'all just gotta get on the same page show us more on the five of swords and the eight of wands for the near future show us more on the five of swords and the eight of wands death transformation it could be an ending see this but for this to come for your spirit guys to be protecting this connection this ending i don't feel like it's going to be a forever ending it could be it can cause this argument disagreement due to misunderstanding can cause a, a ending but it's definitely not completed it's not it can't be mm -mm, not with judgment being here twice in the current energy but in the near future uh this must end i feel like this is what the main message is this must end due to the communication how you communicate so uh the conflict the disagreement get on the same page that's what they're saying this must end the conflict the quick uh uh judgment or just um automatically assuming the worst case like someone needs to come out of that they need to end that because this will be a healthy a good connection show us more with death it could be you scorpio that do this show us more on death or there could be like some conflict due to um a situation no we're just gonna leave it as what i said show us more with death with the near future yep and then look the sun come out so after an ending it's like a new beginning look at and even in this sun card look at them facing each other coming to an understanding compromising forgiving working it out that's that energy happiness healing after an ending it could have been an actual death that could have caused conflict rather conflict between you both or conflict amongst each other separately like just to yourself it could have caused a lot of mental conflict and a lot of communication um like a, a lot could have been said but someone could have been holding back but that is ending transformation is happening where it's bringing in happiness a new beginning not the five of swords again <laughs> It could be a disagreement, conflict over a home living situation. That's why home, a move, all that needs to be discussed. Because this is a divine connection. So there's no releasing and walking away. I'm done with this. No, it's not. No, I'm done because it can't be. It's not. Spirit not going to allow it. It's going to be something that brings you back together because it needs to be together. But I'm not seeing any like harsh um, or any... Yeah, I'm just not getting a, a bad ending. It's just due to a small misunderstanding. So if you had a bad ending with someone, it's not that person. That person, it meant to end. 
<laughs> it was done. It was done before it began. But this situation is just something petty, something small, something where you just misunderstood this person, took things out of text, or this person did. So get on the same page. That's what they're saying. Show us a message here for Scorpio. I feel like communi the communication could be a lot stronger. Maybe it could have been a block between you and this person or just... Um, yeah. Or someone could have been stubborn to this connection. But, oh, you're going to be forced together. You got judgment here twice. You got, man, they're not playing with y'all. They're like, no, this is meant to be. This is meant to be. Show us a message for Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Scorpio. Clarity, truth, yes. I feel like, yeah, and pro protection as well. Protection, power. This connection is protected. And it, and I feel like you both are gaining the clarity, the truth of this connection. Show us more on this energy for Scorpio. Scorpio. A lot of Scorp Scorpio, you all up in this reading. Either you're dealing with another Scorpio, or this, I mean, this reading is directed to a Scorpio, for sure. Show us more on this energy for Scorpio. Scorpio. Whoa. Twin flames, yin and yang. Balance, union, duality, coupling. You complement each other. Show us more. So someone is realizing what this connection is. Like, oh, dang, this is my twin flame. Take a chance. A risk. Being strategic options. Listen, you better take that chance with this connection because it's, it's real. It's the real deal. Only thing that's hindering is your communication. Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation. So someone could have been... In a situation prior to you or you prior to this person where it was a lot of heartbreak, pain, you know, it was deception. Someone could have been stabbed in the back. So that's why it was hard for someone to accept this connection for what it is. But like I said, your spirit is going to push you into recognizing what this is. It could have been a female that could have tried to hinder this connection. Um, whether it's a female, a friend of yours, or a friend of theirs, or ex-lover, or something like that. It could have been a masculine, too. It says girl with a snake, but it could be a man as well, male or female. But they could be a narcissist. They like to um, charm and use people. Uh, someone need to set boundaries with this person. And as long as they set boundaries, this connection will work out even better. Yeah, it's with a karmic relationship. Whoever this was that they were dealing with or you were dealing with is karmic. So once that is done, you're able to flourish in this connection with this person. Yeah, so someone could be upset because they separated from them. They no longer want the snake. It just want to come out. So heavy. So yeah, it's a snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder. The other woman or the other man. Someone is trying to um, sabotage this connection. So as long as you know this, you and your divine person know this, you fight through this. Like, no, you don't You don't have control over over us. <laughs> Many options, decision, unconventional, string along. Whoever they were dealing with, they were, it's like they only want, or this could be you, whoever you were dealing with. Whoever the other person is, whoever the snake is, whoever the karmic relationship is. They had many options they were dealing with. They didn't take this serious with this person. And this person woke up and left. Whether this person is you or this person is that person. Or your person. However it is. 
But now that they are done with them, they're trying to hinder this connection with you. They don't want this person to move on. It's not that they want them. They don't want them. They just don't want them to be with anyone. They're just selfish. Um, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Yeah. Not today. Yeah, this person not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundary, still angry. Someone is not talking to someone and they're trying to sabotage their new connection because they feel like it got to be somebody else if it ain't me. Welcome and love meeting the one. Open your heart, getting together. Perfect. Yeah, that's the, that's that connection that I, that came in in the beginning of this reading. Heart with the key. Any other messages? Yeah, whoever the snake is, is the chaser now. They're trying to chase them, trying to hurt them, harm them, cause cause problems so they can't be with you. Because they found their match, or you found your match. And someone is trying to get in between that. They don't want them to move on. They don't want them to be with you. Or they don't want you to be with them, with, with this person. So you need to strengthen your connection for those who are in a connection with their divine person. Strengthen this connection with communication. That's all. It's only the communication that could be all. All right. And just make sure you stay on your ground, set boundaries. Or this person, you, when I say you, I'm saying you as a team, as in both of you. Like you as a union, you as a unit. You set boundaries with whoever this ex or ex is, okay? Set boundaries so this connection cannot be disrupted. Because the stronger you are and the stronger your communication is, no one can break this. And I mean no one. Because it's, it's meant to be. So I'm going to extend this and see more details on this situation. Because uh, we do got pop-ups, so they could be just popping up on you. Maybe you and this person could be at a distance, or uh, there could be some type of um, separation here. But not on bad terms, it's just whatever the issue, whatever the circumstances is, rather. Not an issue, but it's coming together because you're going to be residing with each other. Um, yeah. That's it, Scorpio. So, just communicate. Until next time, um, I will be live tonight for Q&A. So, you can join me there to get a question answered. Um, or for the games uh, to win a question as well. Um, and follow me. And you could go ahead and tap into my Patreon. Uh, the membership with the weekly readings, the extended readings, you can definitely do that if you want to get the other portion of this reading. Or you could just start with the daily um, message and work your way up anytime you want. Um, but just to get your foot in the door, you could start off with a daily message. Um, yeah. And that is it, Scorpio. Until next time.